Hi everyone, welcome back to Function Pilates. I'm Vanessa Kelly, founder of Function Pilates, located here in Arizona. And today I'm filming out of my latest project, our newest Gilbert, Arizona studio. So this is the very first workout here and I have listened to you guys. Thank you for responding to the community posts about what you'd like to see in these upcoming workouts. And a lot of you have asked for some chair workouts. So that is what we're gonna do today. For those that are unaware, um, you can follow us on Instagram at Function Pilates. We also have an Amazon storefront. So if you are wondering what kind of studio essentials or props or reformers I recommend on Amazon, please head over there. All of that's in the description box in that link below. If you are new to the channel, welcome. There's over a hundred workouts here and they're all divided into the playlist section. So peruse through there and see what you're feeling that day. Also, if you have wanted to become a Pilates instructor or want to enhance your Pilates knowledge and how to do your own workouts at home, Function Pilates does have a virtual teacher training program. It is a mat and reformer certification. I'm happy to provide more information on our upcoming courses. That link is below in the description box as well. If you already are a Pilates instructor or know that that is where you're headed and you wanna have your own business, your own studio in your neighborhood, I would love to chat more about how you can get started and become part of the Function Pilates family. We're a groundbreaking franchise, so I am just excited to share this with everyone across the nation. Also, I'm going to link some recommended workouts here if you like this one and how you can um, get some more of the same thing. But for those that are ready to get started, let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and begin with a mat set up so we can lie on the floor and I have one spring on three. So we can set ourselves up for a little warm up for some pelvic curls and bridging here. And it should feel relatively somewhat challenging but a little on the easy side as well. As you place the arches of your feet on the pedal, just take a deep inhale through the nose to prepare and begin to go into these pelvic tilts where we're imprinting our low back into the mat and then we are providing an arch throughout that lumbar spine. And as we go through, we're just articulating and warming up through that area of our low back. Once the arms are down by our sides, take an inhale there and exhale, peel your spine up all the way to your shoulder blades. Think of those kneecaps pointing outward and then rolling yourself down one vertebra at a time. Nice and easy. The pedal isn't moving at this point. We're just using it as stabilization as we peel our spines up and really focusing on opening the chest as we press our arms and palms down into the floor. Beautiful. Just taking your time to feel the articulation, feel the abdominals facilitating the movement here. Take a breath at the top. Exhale, roll that spine down piece by piece. Beautiful. And we're in this parallel position with our feet. Take another breath here. Exhale. Maybe you're squeezing through those glutes to help avoid getting into the low back. And nice and slow. We're pausing, just creating some heat, some internal heat into the body. Rolling yourself back down again. Beautiful. From this position, take it into our supine spine twist. So arms out by our side, palms are down, legs come to tabletop. We're gonna take an inhale over to the right, keeping our left shoulder blade down. Exhale through center. Inhale those legs over to the left. Exhale through center. So as we're going through this warm up, think about your legs being extra heavy here and it's your abdominal muscles that are really drawing those legs back up through center with each twist, perfect. Pointing energetically out through those toes. Beautiful, let's set the feet back down. From this position, interlacing those hands behind the head, take an inhale to prepare and exhale. We're just gonna chest lift up and lower back down. Eyesight's gonna be down at the pubic bone or down towards your belly button. And you wanna keep those elbows nice and wide so that we're not crunching up through those shoulders. Beautiful. Exhale to scoop the belly, just feeling some heat as the belly button draws down towards the floor. Taking the right leg into tabletop and extending it out as we come up into flexion. Beautiful. Exhale, deliberately pointing out through those toes. Set that foot down, let's take it to the left side. We reach long, we draw it back to tabletop. Extend, reach long to flex the spine. Extend the leg and back to tabletop lower it down. Good. Let's go ahead and take 
our right leg and our left leg in towards tabletop, curling our head and chest up right into a double leg stretch. We're gonna reach the arms behind us, extend those legs out in front of us, create opposition as we circle those arms around, scooping. Inhale to reach, exhale, grow long. Setting that back down and resting. Let's take that pedal and let's give it a nice push all the way to the bottom. So now you're applying your hamstrings to get the muscles working here. As we keep that pedal pressed down, we're gonna bridge ourselves back up again. So the easy part is going up. The hard part is coming down mainly because we are forcing this pedal not to shift up or move. So really taking your time to feel that articulation as you lower down, not rushing through it, but maintaining control here. So yes, we are getting this nice glute and hamstring activation to help strengthen our hips. And we're also getting this nice stretch and elongation through our back. Let's take the left leg to tabletop. Let's go ahead and tap it down into this imaginary pond. Beautiful, maintaining that 90 degree angle behind the knee, getting that heat into that left leg. Reach that right leg up, point through those toes. We're pumping up and down adding little pulses. Good. Lower the leg, flex the foot to lift. Lower the leg, flex the foot and lift. So we're reaching long and we're doing about five repetitions each on these variations. So hang in there. You got it. Point the toes once again, making tiny little circles. Beautiful. And then reverse it by the other direction. Excellent. Let's lower it all the way down and set that foot back to the pedal. Deep breath here. We're gonna go ahead and slowly bridge ourselves right back up again. Once we're here, keep those hips elevated, left leg comes to tabletop. Keep that 90 degree angle behind the knee as you tap down into that imaginary pond. Beautiful. Reach about five lower lifts here. Then we're gonna go ahead and extend that leg up. You're gonna lower the hips, lift the hips. So we're pulsing into that right hip. You should feel that right glute, that right butt cheek here burning. And then reach long, flex the foot. So we're getting mobility through our ankles as we go through this coordinated movement. Abs are still drawn in, hips are lifted. Perfect, come back through center, point through those toes. We got this little circles here. Think of like a tennis ball as big or as small as you like it, reverse when you're ready. Arms are relaxed, shoulders are down, and slowly lower back. Beautiful work. Good, so legs are feeling pretty warm here. Let's go ahead and keep our heels resting on top of the pedal, and you're gonna allow that pedal to rise on up, but we're only gonna pop, press down to about halfway. Bring your head and chest up, arms are gonna be hovering off the mat. So it's basically a modified 100 prep here as we lift. So you're releasing the legs, you're pulling them down, you're lifting and flexing through the spine, lower everything down, good. Exhale, pull those legs down, lift the head and the chest. And we're gonna combine this here in just a moment. So curl up, just step by step. Beautiful, exhale, together we go. So your head and chest are lifting, your heels are drawing down, we're not going all the way down. You're gonna almost feel like this heaviness and that's where your stopping point is at. Beautiful. Hold it right there. Let's bring that left leg up towards the center. Just pulse it down with your right leg, hands behind the head if that feels good to support your neck and just pulse it there. Good, five pulses. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Reach out with that right leg, pulse down with the left. You got it, maintaining your height if you can. If you wanna lower your head down, that's totally fine as well. And then release, press those heels down into. Let's go ahead and curl your head and chest up a little higher, interlace the hands behind the head. Lower your head and chest down. Good. So we're working our way up to this nice strong progression here. So we're still using those legs. You're lifting up just a tad. Maintain your height, release the legs, pump it down, grab a hold of your thighs, lift up a little higher, interlace the hands behind the head, release the legs. Again, more step-by-step -step process, but we're just creating a little bit more intensity in our core here. Lift up, maintain your height, interlace the hands, release the legs. 
release everything. Good, take a nice deep stretch. Extend those legs if that feels good for you. And let's go ahead and take our arms up towards the ceiling. We're gonna curl the head and the chest up right here and take it into our hundreds. Pumping those arms, inhaling for five counts, exhale for five counts. Beautiful, so we have the pedal there to actually help to stabilize and give yourself, I guess, what we call a little bit of a rest, but if you want your legs in air, you can definitely take them there. Beautiful, inhale, keep that head and chest curled up if you are maintaining that height today. Otherwise, head and chest can come down as you pump those arms. Bring that left leg up. Let's switch it for our hamstring pull. Beautiful, so again, we're not taking these breaks if we don't have to, and we're still maintaining the heat in our core and our midsection. Scissoring those legs here, perfect. Go ahead and add a crisscross. Rotate through the spine, maintaining that elevation, shoulder blades off the mat. Exhaling and inhaling. Switch and switch. Beautiful work, hug those knees into the chest. Awesome job. Let's go ahead and sit ourselves up. And we're gonna go ahead and take it into our footwork series here. So I'm gonna have two springs on two, and this is relatively a medium weight. I don't wanna go super heavy. I'm gonna definitely add in some single leg here. Plus we are going to add in a split pedal option. So we just want it to be comfortable at this point. Good. So heels are on parallel. We're gonna go ahead and take those arms you can go ahead and rest them right by your sides here and then just go ahead and press the pedal down as we exhale inhale to lift it back up now our goal with chair is not to have this temptation of leaning forward we want to maintain this nice upright position which may limit how far the pedal goes down but it's going to provide the work in our quads to help strengthen our knees so if you feel yourself teeter-tottering here try to see if we can avoid that Come down to your toes, still parallel. Let's genie arms, just to add some variation to the arm position, and press it down. So heels are elevated. You're applying this equal weight distribution in through both of your feet. Again, nice and up right here. Abs are drawn in, just working through those postural muscles. Beautiful. Taking your time, again, about 10 repetitions for each of these variations here. And let's go toes on, heels together in that Pilates first. And then as we genie arm the genie the arms again, I ended up switching it to the opposite arm on top. Good. Nice and tall, like you're balancing a book at the top of your head. Exhale, we press, inhale to release. You got it. And then go ahead and release it. So from here, just go ahead and carefully remove your, your stick here from the pedal. And we're gonna go back to our heels, but we're gonna take it into this wide second position with a slight external rotated at the hip. Nice deep breath. So our goal here is to maintain this accuracy of pressing down simultaneously with both our feet and not allowing one side of our body to dominate, which can be pretty tricky. But this is a great source of understanding which side is more dominant than the other. Try to avoid looking down, but if you wanna take a peek to see where that's what's coming in a little bit more strongly than the other side, that's totally fine as well. Beautiful, and then let's pedal it. Single leg marches here. Good, nice and easy. Our hips are staying nice and square, strong. Keep those abs drawn in to create that stability. And then coming back up to the top. So we'll go to our toes. We're gonna stay wide. It's a bit tricky, so find your way there carefully. So toes are on all the way up the side of the bar in that wide second position. I'm taking it back into genie arms here. Deep breath, exhale, we press down. Good. So a little bit more challenging since we are in our toes. A little bit more distance that has to be done here. Beautiful. 
exhale to press down and inhale to release shoulders are down neck is staying long think of your jaw staying soft press and release and I'm going a little slower with this one to maintain that accuracy so maybe you're noticing things in your body too take it to marching Perfect. Should be feeling some heat in those quads developing right out in front on top of your thighs. And then carefully relax. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and take our left leg out. I'm gonna flex the foot there and press down with our right leg. Exhale, press. Good, nice and open with the arms if that feels good for you today. Think of these heavy water buckets sitting on top. Good, just press and release. Press and release, switching to the opposite side. And then I'm gonna flip my palms up on this one and press. So arms are out straight, I just flip the palms up so they're not looking down. Good. Nice and easy as we press into that pedal. Maintaining that nice upright position. Good. You might feel a little shakiness in your quad. I know I am. Perfect. And rest. Alrighty. So from here, we're just gonna go ahead and add that stick back into the pedal so it makes it one unit again. I'm gonna adjust those springs right back to just one spring on two, so I just removed one spring here. So it is relatively light. If this is too challenging for you, go to one spring on three. You're having a seat and you're going to extend those legs out straight as you reach behind you. Fingertips are facing you. And then we're using our upper body to press into the pedal. And you're using your abdominal muscles to let the pedal rise on up. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're not trying to use our arms in this exercise. Let's add some variations if this feels okay. So pulling one leg up in the tabletop, reach out long. It is gonna challenge your balance. It is going to add a little bit more heat into the midsection as well. If this is bothering your hip flexors, you can definitely avoid it. Exhale, lift. Good. From here, let's go ahead and balance and taking one leg at a time to tabletop position. We're gonna lower that paddle again. Exhale, lift it back up. Trying to get to the very top of where the pedal can rest. Beautiful, inhale as we go down. Exhale, we're lifting up. A nice strong tabletop, very energetic, very active through those inner thighs as we're holding the legs together as one unit. Beautiful. So anywhere from five to 10 of these repetitions here. And let's carefully reach our left arm over. We're gonna take it into an oblique exercise. So now your eyesight is on your right hand. You're lifting from your left oblique from that external oblique and from the right internal oblique. Beautiful, holding that tabletop, maybe try to avoid any hip shiftment here. And lift, take it carefully to the other side, reaching your right bicep over the ear. You're rotating slightly through the spine. And again, we are going in anywhere from five to eight repetitions here. Keep that breath helping to assist you with the movement, not holding on to that breath. Awesome, and then coming all the way to the top, can we pause and hold for a balance challenge here? Deep breaths, guys, shoulders down. You've got this. And then slowly coming out of it and standing. To get a nice stretch there, a counter stretch coming back up 
So I'm going to keep the springs the same for this next exercise and we're going to go into a little bit of legs, a little bit of core, mostly a lot of balancing. So we're going to raise our arms up just going for a nice natural roll down here, our washerwoman. But again, it is a very light spring. And just take a nice couple repetitions here to roll ourselves up, shoulders back. Let's sweep the arms up and over, dive it down, connect hand to the pedal. We're pressing, getting a deep hamstring stretch here. Scooping the belly as you round up the spine. There you go, maintaining connection and press it back down again. And round up that spine and press it back down again. Good. Bringing it back up and hold. You're gonna go ahead and balance by reaching your right leg out in back of you. Relax your left toes and continue with those roll downs. Perfect, it's like you're reaching this energy out from your right toes, keeping that right glute activated and mainly the left glute, that side as well. Good, abs are drawn in, we're lifting and lowering. And we're gonna do a few variations here, so bear with me. If you fall out of it, just carefully go ahead and come back in. Hold and pulse the leg up. You got it. Lift and lower, squeezing through that right butt cheek. About 10 repetitions, 10 pulses there. Lift and lower. And then slowly, you're gonna go ahead and bend the elbows, straighten the arms just little presses here probably not a ton of weight on your arms but again your left glute should be burning the right glute should be burning shoulders away from those ears you got it press and release press and release Good, and once we hit 10, we're gonna slowly come on up. Don't take a break just yet, but place that right foot on top of the pedal, genie those arms, press it down slightly, releasing that, that pedal up and down. Good, nice and tall, nice and strong. And sometimes even having this lighter weight, it just, even though it's not heavy on the legs, it does feel like it's an extra challenge just to maintain your balance and coordination. So once again, when we hit about 10 repetitions here, we're gonna add on. We're gonna go ahead and reach behind us down for a low lunge, tap the pedal, press it down. So this disconnection from the pedal down to the lunge can also very much challenge your balance here. So be mindful, take your time. Nice and upright with the chest. And we're just doing about five of these lunges here. And make sure you're in a safe position where the left knee is over the left ankle and you're not shearing the knee out too much in front of you. Good, lunge it down. Good, bring it up, press the pedal down. Bring that pedal up, and we're gonna add in another roll down. Reach that right leg behind you, balance. Come right back up, taking the right toes down to the pedal. Press it, release. Good, dive it straight down again. You got it. And I promise we're almost done here. You guys are doing awesome. Press it down, release. And again, nice and slow, focusing on that breath. Just thinking about your form here. Slowly coming out of it. Good job, guys. So go ahead and shake that out to what feels good and we'll set ourselves up for the other side. So now the right foot is grounded. We're taking that dive straight down already, connecting hands to the pedal and lifting up just for about a few of these just to get acquainted with the exercise once again. And press and slowly releasing, starting to extend that left leg out 
and then press it down. Exhale to scoop the belly up here. Good, and again, just finding your place in space right now as you are getting acquainted with this side, which might feel a little different, or you might just be thinking that you know what's coming, so that might feel different to you too. But just take your time here as we go into these roll downs. Exhaling to lift, pulse it up here for 10 repetitions, squeezing through that left butt cheek. We lift and lower, good. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and take that left foot over to the pedal, genie those arms. We're gonna press it straight down and release. Good, down and release. Super controlled, not allowing the pedal to hit the base. Beautiful work. Again, all about knee strengthening here, your hip strengthening, making sure your foot is parallel, so paying attention to that. Going into your lunge, we press the pedal down. We release the pedal down to the lunge, up and press. Perfect, nice and upright. And this is creating a little bit of stamina here too, so you might notice that your heart rate has elevated just slightly. Again, taking the breaks if you need it, but if you're feeling good today, then just keeping with it here. Good, press and release. Taking it into that lunge, bring it up. Pressing that pedal down, going right into our other balance challenge where we add in that roll down, stretching the leg out in back of us. For that standing split, take the left foot, we press the pedal down, nice and upright. Reach up and over, press. Beautiful. Dive it straight down, focusing on your breath. Really taking this moment to draw those abs in, staying strong. And returning it back up. Beautiful job, guys. So from here, we're gonna move along and we are going to Add in that extra spring, so we're back to two springs on two. If you need more weight to assist you, I would suggest shifting your springs up. And we're gonna go into full pike. So both toes are, um, all toes are on, hands are on that side of the chair, and you are lifting into your pike where you're sending the tailbone high to the sky, high to the ceiling because we haven't had enough core work today. So really just using those abs to lift you and not really depending on the upper body. It's this shift where you are just really pushing the chair away. Carefully go ahead and come off of that. Awesome, so that was the warm up there. Now we're gonna get challenged here, but with the split pedal. If you don't wanna do the split pedal, you can keep it as one unit, but again, carefully pressing one foot down at a time. Shift your weight forward, shoulders over the wrists. Take an inhale here, exhale. We're lifting up through the belly button like you're putting on a pair of tight jeans. Hovering off the base and again, piking it up. And again, I know we're getting tired, so really be mindful about shoulders away from the ears. Good, try to look between your knees and not at the wall. Excellent. And are we balancing the pedal here as one unit? Finish it off with your marches, run in place, stay high, keep those hips elevated, try not to sink down, I know that's challenging, but get to about 10 to 20 and rest. So maybe take a little calf stretch here well-deserved. Good. 
So we're gonna keep it as is. My recommendation would be to lower the weight if need be because this is gonna go into arms. So I would go down to two springs on one. Go ahead on your belly and you're gonna bend those elbows and straighten them for those tricep presses. So try to again equalize the pedal as if it's one unit as you press down. And think of your body in one plane here. Energize through those legs, reaching out through those toes. Exhale, we press. Inhale to bend the elbows. Reach it down. About 10 repetitions here. And then go ahead into that little bit of pedaling out again. Yes, and this is where we wanna maintain nice squared shoulders, so make sure that's not rotating. And then go ahead and carefully sit yourself up. Nice work. So we're gonna add that stick back into our pedal to make it a unit again. And then we're gonna take our springs, just one spring on three. If you need more assistance to stabilize you, then I would go one spring on four. From here, we're on our side plank. Right hand is on the pedal, fingers are facing away from you. And we're starting with the legs as a unit and left hand is on the chair for balance. So think of this side lift. We're using our obliques here. If you want the extra challenge, you can go into these variations with the arms where your hand is now on your hip. Exhale, we lift up, inhale to lower. Good. Reach the arm up towards the ceiling if that feels good for you. And again, just lift nice and high. Taking your time with this to really encourage more balance and stability. Beautiful, let's take it to a mermaid stretch. So let's wrap that right leg in front. Left foot is on the floor. Point through those toes as you reach your arms up and over. So right hand is on the pedal. Left arm is reaching, adding a little rotation. Just getting that extra stretch through the back. Just a couple times here and then we can sit ourselves up. Take it to the other side for our side plank. So we're stacking the hips, stacking the, through the feet. Let's go ahead and Find the hand on the pedal. Good, and again, it's a new side. Go through those balances again with the arm variations. Right hand is in front. And once you're ready, you can take the right hand to your hip. And then if you'd like, you can have the hand up towards the ceiling. So either one, you can play with all three. You can just do one for the day. But find what works for you because the target focus is the oblique, so that's what we want to be actually focusing on. And come back up. We'll take it to mermaid. So wrap that left ankle around the leg of the chair, left hand to the pedal, reach over with the right bicep, point out through the right toes to encourage a deeper stretch through the obliques and through the ribs. Adding some rotation here about one to three times and then returning back up through center. Beautiful. Let's finish it off here with one more exercise, our back extension. So we're gonna go ahead and keep the toes on the floor, heels together and yet Pilates first. And we're on the same springs here, so you're just gonna inhale to lift your head and chest up, exhale to lower the body over the chair. Nice and gentle, it's really about just getting a nice cool down here, getting some back activation and strengthening the back of the shoulders into those rhomboids. Beautiful. Just listening to your body here, taking those breaths, really listening to yourself. Take a nice final drop and carefully release it. Let's come back up over to our mat and we're gonna end it with a couple roll downs here. So standing hip distance apart, reach those arms up. We're gonna dive it down and just take into consideration how our body is feeling one more time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. 
hit a thumbs up if you liked it and would love to see you back as a subscriber. 